Right, so today's the day that we start laying the sub base for the patio area. So as you can see, we've not got the best days for it and it is a little bit boggy over here. But what we are gonna do is we're going to lay uh, some membrane down, put the hardcore on top and hopefully so we see how we get on with that. Uh, we've got a whacker plate, hired that for three days, just so I think it gives it to be rain next few. So hopefully we can at least get one of those days out of the three where we can actually compact things down. But we're gonna see how we get on. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens. We started off by putting this membrane down and we did it for a few different reasons. So one of them was to obviously prevent weeds from coming through when we lay the patio. Another reason was because of the weather we had on the day. With it being so wet, we thought if we put the hardcore down and compact it using the whacker plates, all we're gonna do is push those larger stones into the ground and we're gonna get nowhere. We're gonna end up having to use more hardcore and probably in time, it might make the patio slightly uneven. And with the weather we had as well, if we started hitting the whacker plate onto hardcore that was just on the soil, we just end up with water splashing all over the place. It'd become a mess and we'd have to wait for a dry day to really get anything done. Now, in an ideal world, you would get the hardcore into your wheelbarrow roll it up to where you need it to go and tip out all the hardcore and spread it around using the rake. A big issue we had was because we already set this retaining wall in place, we didn't really want to put a ramp up and risk damaging any of the wood. So what we did was we shoveled the hardcore into the wheelbarrow, brought it into the garden and then we got the hardcore into buckets and carried the buckets over and plonked it on the top. Now this wasn't the most efficient method of doing this, not even close, but it worked for us, it was back breaking, but you know, we got there in the end. So you can see, we've got the layer now, a bit thinner towards the back, uh, but we started putting more on here because I think the more we put on, the better it's going to be because it is quite moist because of some of the rain that we've had, uh, but not too bad. So, time to rake it in, and then day one of hardcore done. Right, so there we go, we're done for today. Um, so what we've done is we've laid the first layer of the sub base, so the MOT one that we've got. Um, and then we waited about an hour for the rain to stop. And some came out, it wasn't, it was, it was dry, but the, the ground was still a little bit wet. So we've whacked it, we've whacked it down using the whacker plate or the compactor plate. What has happened is it's brought quite a bit of moisture to the top of the ground. Obviously it's just started raining again now, which is typical. Uh, which that was to be expected, the moisture coming through because it's because it's compacting down so much, it's bringing all that water to the top. So, first time using the compactor plate or a whacker plate, uh, not too bad. It was uh, quite easy to use, a bit tricky to start with. Uh, but I think tomorrow, uh, when I charge my phone again fully so it doesn't die this time, uh, what we'll do is put the rest of the hardcore on because you can see, I'm not sure if you can see actually on the video, but there are some dips as you go through. If you look to the front, you might be able to see a bit better. Uh, and you can see it sort of slopes off slightly down to the left there. It's a bit lower on that side. It's a bit lower in the, these patches here, whereas this front bit here is not too bad, maybe a little bit more than this corner. So yeah, uh, almost there. So we'll check back tomorrow and we'll see how we get on. Right, so it's the next morning. Uh, it's feeling solid so far. The, uh, it's settled quite well. It rained quite a bit last night, uh, but everything seems to be draining off uh, as it should be. And today is just about getting the level perfect. So <clears throat> I had a bit of a brainwave last night. Got an idea that might not work, but I'm gonna see it, just test and see if it does today. So what I've done is I've put a screw in each of these pieces and I've ran the string line around just to see where I've got high spots and where I've got low spots. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a diagonal line going across as well. So you can see on this side here, we're not really that far off where we need to be. Whereas on this side, you can clearly see there's a massive difference. So I know we need to put more hardcore over there. So what I'm going to do for the next 10 minutes is set up all the string lines, make it diagonal, and then start getting more hardcore in, ready to be whacked down, and hopefully we'll start getting that level.
All right, so we can see that then. So you can see that I've gone over, I've made a cross in the middle of this one. Cross there, and then this one at the back, oh, absolute nightmare. It's, um, I must have went over it at the back of my yesterday. It's tried getting that out. Does not got a chance, so I'm just gonna whack her over it today. So instead, I've gone over in this bit of a weird pattern just to get an average sort of idea of what the lines are saying. So, we're still probably about, I think it looks about maybe 25 to 50 mil where we should be. So, let's start getting some hardcore onto this. Let's start leveling it off. Right, so the tactic he used today was to go along the string line and put bucketfuls of hardcore along where the string was and then just bring the string back to the top. And I thought that way, at least I can get a level around where all the string line is. And then I could go back through and fill in those gaps where there were spaces and use the rate to level things off. I did go back every so often using the spirit level just to see what the level was looking like. And to be honest, it wasn't 100% perfect. There were some inconsistencies throughout, but that was to be expected. I wasn't expecting it to have every single piece completely flat. I just needed it to be good enough to lay the flags on. Now, from some of the things I saw online, it said you can have some inconsistencies in your hardcore itself. When it comes to laying your flags, you are gonna be using the mortar and with the mortar, you can have it thicker in some places and thinner in others. Now, I don't mean a massive difference of, let's say, 50 mil, but having it 10, 15 mil out across the actual sub base itself isn't the end of the world. Now, you can probably see that when I'm using the spirit level, there are some inconsistencies that are more obvious than others. So what I did was went through, I put more hardcore down in these places and then whack it over it again. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. In the next video, I will be laying the patio over this space. So if you want to follow along with this renovation, feel free to subscribe. And as ever, if you have any suggestions or any advice for me going forward, please just put it down in the comments below because all your feedback is really, really valuable for me making this garden renovation work. So thanks for watching.